Welcome back. Today's episode of uh, Open Fire Pit Cooking is we're going to be cooking us up some yard bird on the smoker, on the pit barrel, and this is beer can chicken. So stay tuned. Welcome back to OpenFirePitCooking.com. This is uh, Benjamin, and today we're going to be cooking some beer can chicken on the pit barrel. So um, I love beer can chicken. Uh, keeps the chicken really moist and bubbling from the inside. I like to add a few ingredients uh, to it, some lemon and some fresh rosemary. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do this, but uh, first I'm going to prepare my dry rub and my uh, oil. So my dry rub today, I'm just going to be using uh, some salt, pepper and garlic. First off, to put some flavor in there, so that's my uh, pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm gonna use some coarse ground black pepper. And this will be my first layer of uh, seasoning. And then uh, I got some uh, kicking chicken, somebody told me I should try, so. I'm gonna put that on the, the outside. That'll be my last layer of seasoning. So salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm gonna stir that up some. And then for my uh, oil, so I'm gonna be uh, greasing outside of these chickens with some oil real quick, but help uh, the rub stick to it. So I'm just gonna use some olive oil. Use whatever kind of oil you want. And then uh, I'm gonna try something new today. We always dip our chicken in this uh, Thai chili sauce, so I'm just gonna try to put some of it on the chicken to begin with. So I'm gonna dump some of that in there. See how that works. So I don't actually know what this one's called, but it should be in the Asian section. It's got the chicken on it, so. Mix all that up real quick. And I've been brining my uh, chicken in some salt water pretty much all day. Um, it was in the refrigerator for a couple days thawing out. I just got them at the commissary, just your average frozen chicken you get at the grocery store. So um, again, today's really windy, but I'm gonna get the chicken out of the brine, bring it over here, we'll pat it down, and then I'll be right back. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we got our chickens out of the brine. I'm just gonna take some uh, paper towels real quick and dry these girls up. So. get it in a pan real quick and then uh, when they come sometimes they got little extra feathers on there so you might want to just pull those off Let 
I'm gonna do one of these up and then I'll go off camera and do up the other one. But try and get her as dry as you can. So I got her dry. Then I am going to get my oil mixture. I'm gonna paint her, paint her all up. Try to get everywhere. Get the back side too. Get a nice even coat on there, try to get it everywhere so all that seasoning can stick to it. So I'll take some of my rub, sprinkle it all over. I have to do some more rub for the other one, but try to get it everywhere. Use whatever rub you like. This is a good base though, just salt, pepper, and garlic. You got some, we also want to stuff some down in there. Get some of that in there. She looks pretty good. So I got these uh, beer stands. I got them at the post exchange, but I'm pretty sure they got them at everywhere. Hardware stores or anywhere you get your grills at. You're gonna need some beer for this. I got uh, my hands all full of chicken, so let me dump some of this beer out. You want about uh, two thirds of a can of beer in there. Let me clip that in there. Noticed that on uh, my pit barrel, I was gonna put the grate in there, but can stand these chickens up. But uh, there's not gonna be enough room, so this this beer can holder's got these uh, loops on it. So I'm gonna try to get some S hooks on there and put it in there and hang it. So I'm gonna do that. Cut up me a lemon. I'm gonna take this lemon and stuff it down in this chicken. Stuff that in there. Oh shit. It's windy. Let me go grab some more rosemary out of the garden. I don't know why, but I like rosemary in my chicken, so I just get a sprig of that and push it on in there. I'm gonna take her, try to stuff her right on this beer can. Try that 
again. I'm gonna put this S hook on the first. such a hard time today. This usually sits right on there. There we go. Stuck them lemons back in there. In that cavity. While this is cooking, I, I feel that this lemon gives it some really nice flavor. tucking these wings back and let me grab my uh, kicking chicken can't remember who told me to try this but I'm supposed to spice it up a little bit so let me get that in where pretty much all of this today. So I'm gonna do her up like that. I'm gonna go do the other one real quick and then we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to openfirepitcooking.com. I got both my chickens uh, prepared. They're on their little uh, beer can holders and I got S hooks in them. My pit barrel is uh, ready to go. I'm gonna set this up. Uh, I'm gonna take my lid off here. Something that I really like, uh, one of my brothers got for me is uh, my Weber eye, eye grill. So one of the things I didn't have when I got it was the ambient temp probe. Oh my God, this thing. So you take these probes and you stick them in there and then uh, And this is my ambient temp, so I'm just going to stick that. I'll tell you how hot the grill is throughout my cook. And then the other two uh, will be the ones I stick in the bird. So I'm going to put one in uh, one of the thighs, and I'm going to put the other one in uh, one of the breasts. So put these in here real quick. Now that that's set up, I'm gonna let this fire go back down. What's cool about this uh, pit barrel is you can control the the airflow that it gets. So I'm gonna turn it down since it's popping up. And it's got these uh, pieces of rebar on here that's perfect for hanging uh, any kind of meat. I do my pulled pork here. I do anything smoking. So. I'm gonna throw these in. I got want this a little bit hotter than I usually would smoke with because it's chicken and I want the skin to to render down and be kind of crispy. So I'm gonna cook it uh, higher than my normal 225, 250. So I, I, I kind of want my temp range I'm going for is somewhere around 300 to 350. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna hang these chickens in there and let uh, this grill do its work. This is a really nice grill. I actually got it. I was going to make myself an ugly drum smoker and then just researching online it's just going to be a hassle and where do I find a food grade barrel over here in Okinawa so um, I found this one picked it up it was relatively inexpensive uh, made in the USA designed by veterans so that's what I like using I will definitely always use this I'm part of my arsenal I'm going to stick this in here real quick one of mine remember which one's which they're, they're color coded this one's yellow so I'm gonna stick a yellow one in the thigh try to get it fixed to the bone 
And then the yellow one I'm going to stick up here on this other bird, around the breast. So that way I can uh, drop this cook, tell what it's doing, and put this in. This is real cool. cool. You get a, an app on your phone and you can just plug, hey, this is where I want all my settings in. This is where I want this probe to read. This is where I want that probe to read. And, this, and it'll give you alarms on your phone. So uh, he brought this back from the States when he got it. I, I love it. And it's magnetic too. So uh, I mean, it'll, it'll stick with um, my roast hot. Um, I'm going to make a sauce later to baste these with, which will be just be a normal sauce. I'll just put some uh, butter and maybe uh, some seasonings in it and just keep basting that bird all the way through. It shouldn't dry out though because it's got that beer and that lemon in there, but I always like to baste the outside with some oil just to help crispen up that skin. So this cook should take anywhere between two to two and a half hours. Um, so we'll come back and check in on it every once in a while. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome back to OpenFirePitCooking.com. It's been about a, an hour, hour and 15 minutes on this cook. Uh, I've made up a little sauce in this little Dutch oven. I put some oil, some beer, some butter, and a little bit of soy sauce in there and put some uh, garlic powder in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Look what it's doing and then uh, baste my bird. So let's see what this is doing. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Let me throw some juice on this bird. When that juice hit that wood, it starts uh, smoking. All that flavor bit up in there. that's looking good to go uh, I'm gonna put the cover back on it and uh, let it do its thing so uh, I cleaned up my whole area washed all my uh, prep station down got all my tools done so uh, when you're cooking chicken it's really important to, to wash down and sanitize your uh, prep area so that's what we've done uh, my grills looking good ready to get back up to temp uh, the probe I had stuck in the thigh looks to be about 166 right now. Uh, the thigh, I think I'm going to go up to about 175, and then the breast will be right around 165, 170 when I'm done. I don't want to dry that breast out too much. but So we'll just keep monitoring it, and uh, we'll be back. Thank you for stopping in. So welcome back to OpenFirePitCooking.com. Uh, my alarms have gone off. And uh, my breast temp, the last one I was waiting for, hit 165. So we're good to go on that. Excuse this wind, it's really windy. Why is this not? Well, anyways, let's check on our birds and see how they're doing. Oh, it's looking good. Let me try to pull these off. Uh, Temp probes out of there. I'm gonna lift my bird out. I'm not trying to burn burn my hands too much, so I'm just gonna hook onto this.
look at that, man. Oh, that thing looks perfect. So, I'm gonna let these sit because if I cut into them now, they're gonna uh, leak them juices out. So, I gotta let them sit for about 10 15 minutes, let the juices all flow, and then we'll cut them all up. So, I hope you try this recipe. Uh, really good. Um, you see beer cans in a grill and a Weber and a smoker all stand up, but it's rare that you see one hung, so just so happened that they wouldn't fit in my pit barrel, so I had to use these ice hooks, so try it out. Works amazingly, so we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes, so thank you for stopping by, openfirepitcooking.com, this is Benjamin. Welcome back, we got our bird. Uh, it's been resting for about 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna try to unpack this, uh, this bird and see what she's doing to us. So let me try to get all these lemons out of here. Oh, she's smelling good. This is very hot still, even though it's been resting. So let me see if I can get this S hook out of here. Okay, I got that out. Oh, that came out. Ah, so. Oh my god, this is hot. We got the beer out of there. Here we go, we got our bird. That bird looks amazing. Oh, look at that, it's just peeling apart, so. Let me see if I can card this up real quick. I'm trying to find that bone without ripping it up. Oh my God, it's just falling apart. I don't even need the knife, I guess. There we go. Got the thigh off. I don't want to rip that skin, that's why I'm using that knife. This leg should come off just as easily. Oh, there it goes, look at that. I'm gonna try to get these wings. Oh, it's just peeling off that bone. So I love the chicken skin, so I'm trying not to hurt her too bad. That wing should come off. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go, we got the other wing. So now I got the breast. I'm just gonna pick the middle of the breast, try to find that bone. Not slice the shit out of my finger while I'm at it. Get that breast right there. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. And this is still very hot. Even though it's been sitting there chilling, it's still very, very, very hot. There's one breast. Let's see if I can get this other one. Just coming apart. There we go. You can save this for some soup or whatever you want to save that for. But we got the breast here. That's what I'm waiting for. Let me cut this up real quick. Show you what it's doing.
get some of that. Let me grab some of that. Let me try this. Oh my god. So that is amazing flavor right there. We got the the butter. I can taste the butter, the garlic, that lemon. It's amazing. You see that? You can tell it's real juicy. It's just peeling apart. Mm. So I really like doing it this way. Uh, the beer can just boiling and steaming the whole time, making it uh, oh juicy from the inside. If you've never done this, whoever thought of sticking a beer can up inside of a chicken, thank you. This is amazing. Oh. That's perfect. I used uh, some hardwood lump charcoal today and I used some fruit wood. So a very, this is poultry. You don't have to use a very, very strong smoke flavor. So I think I used apple today only because that's all I had. Mm. So if you're, don't be scared of doing a whole chicken. Oh my God. Don't be scared of doing a whole chicken. Just do it up. Um, this is quick and easy. If you don't have a pit barrel, get yourself a pit barrel. Um, it takes all the work out of you. you. You stoke it once, and that's like eight hours of heat. So um, you can't go wrong with that. Try yourself some of this chicken. It's amazing. So thank you for stopping in. Today's episode of Open Fire Pit Cooking. This is Benjamin.